What is up YouTube? Calvin from my 95 Muscle coming at you again this time with the 1990 Diatsu Rocky. What a cool truck. So we'll do once little uh, walk around on this guy. Most of you probably have never seen one. I've been around a lot of cars in my life and I've never seen one. We all know what it's like. It's just like a better version of the Tracker or the Suzuki Sidekick or a Samurai. So, pretty cool truck. We got some uh, alloy wheels. These actually look like F-150 wheels. So that's cool. Inside we got pure 90s interior. Nice, simple, yet effective. So, a little tear on the seat here. In the back we got a little bench seat. A little baby roll cage back there. Headliner hangs down a little bit. And the cool thing is, this top comes off. So, pop that off. And then also, this part of the top vents. So if we grab this guy right here. Let's see, how do we do this? Oh, there's a lock on it. All right. Now, you got a vent. It's like the whole roof vent, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and pop the hood, look under there. Boom. Simple and effective. So, we do have a four cylinder. I'm trying to remember what size it is. It looks like a 1.6 liter, so that's cool. 1.6 liter four cylinder. Probably a wannabe Honda motor. And uh, this one does have a new clutch cable, so you can see this clutch cable coming up here and a new clutch installed. So, manual transmission, new clutch, new clutch cable. Pretty simple though, like a nice little truck. Nice and lightweight, it does have some upgraded headlights, so let's go ahead and pop those guys on and see what those look like. Even though it's bright as can be out. There you go. So those light up white, kind of reminiscent of the new Bronco. Pretty sick. Those lights do work, by the way. I think there's a little switch down by the radio. Um, it does look like there was a dent right here. So something dented that and uh, caught the top when it hit the top of that thing. And out back, we actually have a A gate that opens sideways instead of a tailgate. That's pretty cool. This thing is set up to be able to flat tow, so if you wanted to tow this behind a motorhome, which I think would be a perfect vehicle. Super lightweight, manual transmission, manual transfer case. A uh, great vehicle for that. And you can pop these screws off. That back window comes out. Pretty cool. Spare tire on there. Let's go drive this thing real quick and see what uh, what it be doing. We have 148,191 miles on this Joker. We do have a we have to radio that works actually quite good. Um, AC, I don't think, oh yeah, I heard the AC compressor kick on. Okay, so AC compressor kicked on. Let's see how cold she gets. It's getting cold. E-brake right here and to be honest, I'm not sure what this is. The button's worn down. It says lock, unlock. If that's supposed to be for the doors, then it doesn't work. You got your little, someone 3 m a little cup holder up here. So that way, if you do spill your drink, it lands right in your lap. It's convenient. Love it. It's actually, I mean, really fun to drive though. You can tell it's got some suspension to it because you can feel it dive a little bit when you get on the brakes. Let's just go around this circle K here. We 
should start doing a video series called The People of Circle K. It'll be like the people of Walmart, but it'll be Circle K people. I've seen some strange ones. is getting pretty cool it's not ice cold but it's cold it's colder than the air outside that's for sure that's just that uh that's the uh flat tow bar in the back is touching the tailgate i wouldn't be surprised if this thing had some pretty low gears in it Cool story. I once had a fuchsia tracker, believe it or not, and it had 513 gears in it. So unbelievably low geared. So four wheel drive, that stuff works. Um, like I said, new clutch, the e-brake works and holds well. So I just set the e-brake. We're on a little incline here. How funny would it be if it started rolling? <laughs> But that's going to conclude this little walk around on the Rocky. In my opinion, it's one of the coolest, you know, cars under 15 grand that we've had. It's unique, capable off-road. You can tow it. It's pretty cool. So don't be sleeping on this one. Someone's going to scoop it up. Thanks for watching.